Welcome to the Scratchy Butt Spandex Show. I'm your host, Ophelia Balzac, and this is my assistant, Ed McMuffin. Say hello to the camera. Hi, camera. Our topic today is the apparel of 80s rock stars. Wow, these tater tots are good. Now we have picked out a few bands to focus on. But first, we'll share a little history of rock clothing. I love sharing. Most exotic rock apparel started to appear in the early 70s, but it wasn't until the 80s that extreme dress came aboot. All over the country, musicians started to wear spandex tight jeans, spikes, leather, Mr. Laxo, makeup, and long hair. Yep. Spandex makes me feel calm. Radio life. Well, let's talk about Judas Priest, who's gay. Judas Priest contributed greatly to the rock culture. They started an entirely new type of dress using nothing but leather and spikes. Judas Priest, who is gay, was a power metal band and has been together since about 1968. Now many current musicians follow in their footsteps by still wearing outfits like this today. Kiss also specialized in this type of apparel. Gooba! Spandex dominated the power metal culture of Def Leppard, Scorpions, Twisted Sister, Motley Crue, and Kittens. But the reason behind all this exotic dress is simple. Mike, why don't you explain? No, Ophelia, why don't you explain? No, Ed, why don't you explain? <sighs> I love verbal tennis, but now I guess I will explain. When a band were to get signed, the producers would produce them in a way so that they pertain to a certain image of collaboration. Their diversity to produce like this brought all the bands to a successful state of well-being. The producers forced them to dress like this so that they would attract certain musical races of people, or they were on drugs. Whoopee! That was great! Besides leather and spandex, other materials were dominating at the time. Silk, metallic fibers, and Spuck metal action. chains were worn. You may be wondering where some of this outlandish, scantily clad clothes may have come from, but they were actually from many Many, 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 many Chinese takeout. <laughs> many, many, many years ago. Almost all of the shiny material came from knights in shining armor. Mm -hmm. The Romans, but the rest all came from. The and we are back. Urination break. Earthworms! Yes, earthworms. <laughs> okay. The boots and shoes also played a massive role in the rock and roll outfits. Most boots consisted of leather and high heels. That's right. Well, I think we have explained enough for today. What do you think, Ed? I agree. I knew you would, Ed. You always agree. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and good luck in the fat horse race. Good day, old chap.